Hello everyone. We are officially live on a Saturday here in Carlsbad is where I live now. Um, as you see behind me, it's kind of like the global traveler. Uh, thanks to quantum learning, they've allowed me to travel the world and see different things. So you'll see just my world map and some things from back home uh, behind me. I'm here in my room and yes, I love Bugs Bunny. Uh, my sister, Alexis Martinez, created all those, so I appreciate that. Um, today, we're talking about integrity. And before we go even further, it's just during these times, a lot of questions come up about who we are, about what we're doing, about our actions, about is that really aligned with who we are? So we're going to go into what we, the super definition of integrity, which is matching your behaviors with your values. And it's more than just matching your behaviors with your values. It, it's taking positive action in your behaviors and values. So, so really think about what's going on for you right now during this COVID-19 uh, pandemic and, and what's happening inside of your life, what's happening inside of your families, um, what's really going on and is that aligned 100% with what your values are. So let's just break it down even further. If the pandemic wasn't here, would your values have changed or would they have remained the same? For some of us, it could be a positive, it could be a negative. For some of us, our values have, have strengthened, have created this new bond amongst our, our fellow people because we're seeing that we need to support others. For some of us, it's like, I've always been on that path anyways, and now I'm just starting to see more and more that I am truly aligning and living in our values. The one thing that can sidetrack, sidetrack that and hijack everything away from who you are is our amygdala. And it's going to be dropped in the link below uh, talking about our amygdala and the path of learning. We're also going to have our integrity refresher series and we're also going to have the eight keys of excellence refresher series put into the link below here. But really start to think about um, the amygdala and what the amygdala is for those that don't know. Um, it basically commandeers your brain anytime you're experiencing fear, anxiety, stress, and threat. And right now that's what's happening. And so what's happening when we experience fear, anxiety, stress, and threat is our amygdala is saying we can either fight, we could run, or we could freeze. Now, the reason I bring that up is because in this pandemic, in the things that are going on, your integrity is being challenged. Your integrity of working home, your integrity working with your family, your integrity working on school, all of that is being challenged because it's change. It's something brand new. It's something that we're not uh, used to and for some of us not even prepared for. So really think into this what's happening in your life and today just write down a list of your values what are your true positive values for me it's family i know i'm speaking to my dad more than i ever have especially when i've lived out here uh, in california and he lives in chicago i'm connecting with my friends and family on a deeper level than i ever thought i could so think about the values that you have mine is education i'm pursuing my doctorate right now i'm in a dissertation phase with working remotely there's challenges to my integrity on do I work on my work right now and get that going or do I work on a dissertation? And the answer is I do both. So how can I find the time throughout the day to make sure that my values are aligned with my behaviors and I'm in integrity? So think of it this way. We see the eight keys of excellence overview uh, video just got posted below. Make sure you check on that. There's a comment. It gives you all the eight keys and that's what we're going to be doing throughout this week is integrity. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about failure leads to success. We're going to talk about speak with good purpose on Monday. This is it commitment, ownership, flexibility, and balance throughout the week. So make sure you check in on that. But going back to integrity, create a list of your values. And this is for parents, this is for teachers, this is for students. Create a list of your values today. I value being with my friends and my family. I value education. I value honesty. I value caring for other people. I value um, opportunities with friends. I value... Um, being authentically me. I, I value balance in my life. So what are those things that you value? And once you write that down, a, a cool activity you can do is trace your hands out on pieces of paper and on one piece of paper, you write all your values. On the other piece of paper, you put your behaviors. And on my behaviors, I'm gonna write down simple things. Like what are some things that are going to align directly with my behavior or my values? So if I value, if I value my friends and my family, my behaviors are connecting with them, calling them, making sure that we're connected in everything that we need to do. 
Um, if I value education, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I plan time so that I can get to the content that I need to get to. So I can study and prep and, and plan my day. If I value honesty, I'm going to look at what I'm consuming in my life, not just food, but also digitally. What am I consuming in my life that's going to lead towards a purposeful me? So really think this week, what can you do in your studies? What can you do in your family? What can you do at work that's pushing out these positive values so we can calm the amygdala and tell it to just you know back off for a little bit? We're here. We got this. Now what can we do to push forward in a positive way? Uh, it's very easy to go into, into fear mode. Um, and what we're doing here, remember, queue up. Uh, if you haven't seen queue up, um, we're going to have Allison. She's going to drop it in the link below too if we can get the queue up in there as well. Queue up. It's pull up and picture. Breathe and release. You're picturing your ideal outcome. So for today, my picture of integrity is how am I living in integrity during this time? What are the things that I can do to increase my positive energy towards my values and make sure that I'm waking up and I'm moving and I'm grooving. For, uh, for those of you that aren't doing this already, a simple strategy, especially when you're working throughout the week remotely, is I know it's, it's easy to kind of get bogged down and you're at your house and you feel uncomfortable, is wake up and treat it like a regular day. So you wake up, you get your shower, you get all your hygiene done, and then you go to work and you get it, you find your, your space. What is an integrous space for you to work in? What are those conversations that you need to have? I have a roommate, so we've had to have conversations around what's happening when I have to go live and when she has to do her work. So figure out what's happening in your world to remain integrous with what you're doing because I value my friends and my family. I value my living situation. I value the things that I'm doing. So what behaviors are positive and pushing towards that? Really think about that this week. Today's key is integrity, which is above your head. You have values and you have behaviors. And when they're aligned above your head, you're in integrity. And again, matching your behaviors with your values, taking positive steps towards making sure that your behaviors are 100% aligned with the values. And it's real simple too. There's um, the, the key that we have for integrity, it's black and white. There's no gray area. So you're either living in integrity or you're not. And right now in this pandemic and everybody's thinking about it, I'm, I'm freaking out. I'm afraid of you know, what's happening in the world financially. I'm afraid of what's happening in the world with, with jobs. I'm afraid of what's happening. I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. That's your amygdala talking to you and commandeering your brain. It's queue up, pull up a picture, breathe and release. Think about those positive actions you want to do that align with your uh, values. If you're here, you're good. There's going to be times throughout the day you're going to be here. My value is education, my value is my friends, my value is my family, but I'm not connected.